the other misty black is different from the mother misty black? <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much. Um, a lot of my books are about social emotional learning. I do a lot of parenting tips. I do, uh, you know, I give parenting advice and I I kind of teach what I've learned along the way about being a mother. So I think people would think, oh, she's she's a great mother. She knows exactly what she's doing. And that just isn't the case. I, I do my best <laughs> as a mother, but I make mistakes just like everybody else. And, and it's a learning journey um, for me. And, you know, I actually heard a funny quote just yesterday that said, the irony about being a parent is that you don't become really good at it until your children are grown. <laughs> And I think that's so true, but then enter grandparents, right? So they've been through the parenting, and and then they get to be grandparents and, and be really good at it. Indeed, um, and um, I think I heard today that grandparents have um, a lot of time to offer love because yes. – Yes, we are parents, we are really busy, we have to work, we have to do a lot of things, but grandparents are there to offer love. That's so true. I think the more people that we can invite into our circle to love our children, the better. And grandparents are just the number one fans of our children, right? And they have the time that, that our kids need and crave and, and the unconditional love that our children need. Um, you know, parents are, you know, number one to offer that, but grandparents are just, they just have this special relationship with children. My mom used to say <laughs> that she became a parent so that she could be a grandma. <laughs> she was so oh. excited to be a grandma <laughs> and she was an amazing grandma. Um, I don't know if you know, but she passed away. Um, um, in 2014, and so my youngest was only one at the time, so she didn't get to know her very well, but through pictures and stories and journals, um, we can pass her legacy on so that, you know, my, my youngest still talks about her, even though she doesn't remember her, she, she knows who she is and, and knows what she was about, so. So that inspired you to write uh, this book I have in my hands? Yes, I wrote it for my mom at, well after she passed away. I, I published the English version in 2020, and that was during COVID where grandparents weren't able to see their grandkids unless they lived with them, right? And so um, at the end of the book, and I don't mean to give anything away, but it talks about ways to communicate with your grandkids when you can't see them, and, you know, you can write letters and you can do Zoom calls and um, but, you know, I, I just used all the memories that I had of my mom as her being a grandparent and as my grandparents and put them into this book that just means a lot to me. So almost e pretty much every page is from an experience that I had either with my grandparents or that my mom had with her grandkids. 